Hi, this is Im Tariq from Redisco.com. In the last videos, we implemented uh, our server side to process uh, token that we uh, that we got from our client side application, and uh, we used uh, Postman uh, to test our API, and uh, we made sure that our API is working. And in this video, we are going to connect this server API with our client application. So. This is our client application and uh, we want to connect this to our server side code uh, so that uh, we can just type our information here and then submit uh, to make payment. So to do that first we will construct our form and uh, we will make sure that uh, we are getting all that that we needed when we will submit this button and on submit of this button we will make post request to our server using this information and we will make payment so let's get start let's first uh, construct our state object so that uh, we can map uh, our state with our form so in postman we can see that uh, we need uh, these informations from user so I'm just going to copy paste here and then I will save it We will ask user about uh, his name, address, city, state, zip code, email address and number. So let's construct our form. And of course you can create your custom input component uh, to just uh, simplify this code. Um, it's kind of look messy but uh, you got the point you can you know uh, use some react strap uh, library which is uh, equivalent to bootstrap library and uh, this library has uh, very amazing components uh, you can use them in your react application so I'm not using it because this is uh, outside the scope of this video. And where we are getting our access token, uh, let's extract this. Let token is equal to this. And then we will construct our address object. So let address is equal to and all this information will come from our state
and now let's uh, construct another object let's say payment info and this object will contain token and address just like in our postman we have this uh, parent object and in that object we have token and address objects perfect payment info just like this perfect now let's go to our application refresh it let me copy credit card information let's paste it here and expiry date is 12 2018 let's open this address object and uh, we can see that uh, we are getting all information that we typed here now we just have to send this uh, object to our server and uh, get a response back to our client uh, for that let's uh, go to our client side app application and uh, let's create uh, a variable in our state uh, and let's call it uh, response string initially and then let's create label and uh, let's display a response that we will get from our server response perfect now we need to send this uh, object to our server for that we will use this axios library so we are going to pull this library in our project uh, using this command let's create another and we will use dash dash save to save this uh, dependency in our package.json file while it's installing let's go back to documentation and let's search for post and uh, here you can see that uh, we will use axios uh, to make post request and then we will pass our url and then we will pass our data which is uh, parameter and then the third object is our configuration so with this information in mind let's uh, go back and uh, let me show you how we can implement this first let's uh, pull our axios import axios from axios perfect and then we will use axios dot post and post request and the url for our server is if you can see that our server is running on this port and uh, we used this url to make post request to our server using postman so the url for post request is this and after that we will pass our data which is uh, payment info and uh, now we want to send these headers uh in our request so let's create our headers object first 
let headers is equal to we want to send two headers so let me create uh, two placeholders and then we will just uh, copy this in our application accept and uh, the value for this is this so these are headers that we need to send with our request and uh, to send header we will create this config object and uh, in this config object we will pass headers like this and after that we will use this promise object to call then we will get response and uh, if we get any error we will use error object perfect then we will say set state and uh, we will get this message from our response object so this will be response response dot data dot message and same with this uh, but we will get response from error dot response then data dot message so this code will uh, send request to our server and uh, make sure our payment is made uh, let's uh, remove this and uh, let's handle this error as well so if we get any error while getting access token in our client side part then we will set response with that error as well so with that our application is ready to test let's go to our application okay let's uh, see what we get here uh, okay we are getting this error because uh, our browser is uh, protecting our server because uh, we are sending request from local host uh, 3000 to different url uh, if you guys will test this on same url like uh, if for example your website is uh, redisco.com and uh, your server server is also running on redisco.com and your client application is also running on red also running on redisco.com then it's totally fine you will not get this error like we are getting this error let me show you how we can fix this in our server side code uh, we have to tell uh, our browser that you know what uh, this domain is trusted you can allow this domain to connect to my server so uh, to do that uh, let's go to our server side code in index file this is the easiest way to do this uh, you can install middleware to do uh, uh, to enable this uh, but I'm going to just uh, just show you the easiest way so instead of uh, allowing all domains we will allow only this domain
um, let's clear this out and let's submit our request okay so you can see that we got this me message paid successfully and here we can see that we made this payment $25 let's uh, go to in our server side code and let's uh, change this to $15 save it so let's submit this request again You see we are waiting for this payment okay we got uh, 200 response let's uh, check in our application let's check in our sandbox account so we are able to make payment of $15 so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys really like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos if you want me to create a video tutorial series on any topic then please leave your comment on this video and i will consider creating tutorial on that topic thank you so much for watching